right good so let me check right here either we have a number kind of videos that i record this now that i have been add in in our google drive okay hopefully there we have right here. so we'll take a look back again how it actually works yeah, for example. Then. can you see the movements of my hands all right the movements of our hands there right so this is basically the way that we move all right or we can move also our hands like this all right see practice our hands that press a little bit and move our hands Okay, this is basically how people practice our hands to draw, but when we use those tablets, they're not going to be the same, all right? This tablet pen, right, okay? They cannot draw like this one there, right, okay? But we have to draw like we're holding the pencils to write there, right, okay? To work. So a big difference that we're using those digitals and when we're using those pencils or traditional kind of tools that we use. So when I want to draw using those small pen, also the same thing there, okay? And I put my hands over here, can you see? But I cannot use this kind of method that it works. But instead, I'm going to use the writing kind of methods, but why actually I'm using those kind of drawing pen? Because it's easy for me to control basically my kind of hand step to draw a circle there. But why I actually repeat my hands like this, repeat my drawings like this? Why? Because I want to make sure that I can get the right kind of circles there, the right kind of circles that works. This is basically one of the most important exercise that each of you guys have to do that first. Okay? You know that you develop your understanding how to control the line. Even though I want to draw a straight line there, right, okay? I'm using only one single stroke there, okay, for the straight line there. Can you see that? Same goes to using those color pencils over here. Okay, one single line, a straight line that works. Okay, diagonal line or straight line there, right? Okay? Even though I'm using those. This kind of writing, kind of holding those pencils, I'm going to do the same thing. All right? That's how actually going to work with our tools traditionally there, okay? Thank you very much, guys. So you guys can see there, okay, how actually I developed that kind of understanding while I do those kind of drawings here. Okay, let me... All right, open up my webcam there, right? Okay, guys. So that's basically one of the most important rules before you're going to draw or illustrate, okay? So when you want to learn about the basic foundation of drawing for illustrations, either for any kind of art purpose there, right? That's basically one of the foundations there. When I was uh, an earlier stage there, right, okay? Before I have the formal kind of educations like you guys, okay to learn about art and design there right um i have also this kind of floating kind of ideas that you why actually i have to learn all these kind of things there okay because uh one of the most important things that you have to remember there again okay? uh, when i start to draw basically right okay? i hardly use erases there and it's just like i didn't use erases okay when i actually start to sketch my line when I want to design or draw or illustrate using basically pencil, color pencil, charcoals, or even no pen. How actually you're going to erase when using pen there, right? So that's basically one of the discipline that we have to develop to ourselves there. Who actually actually design or draw at this moment not using erases? Anyone who, dev who never used erases to erase your mistake while you draw? Anyone? Anyone who de never used erases there when you want to erase your drawings, you just continue to draw and then you add some details and then you overlay them 
and a little bit kind of clean up those lines there, right? Okay. Anyone have done those kind of things yet? Okay, there's another video that I've been create. No, why? No, I must use erasers there, right? Uh, okay. Most of you guys, they're right, okay? I'm also do the same thing there, guys. I'm also do the same. I also use this kind of thing there. Maybe uh, in the future there, right, okay, I'm going to show you guys most of my earliest drawings there, right, okay? I thought that I doing right, but it's not, okay? I actually put a lot of my updates, basically, other than my lifestyles, my MCO kind of routine there, right, okay, in my social media Instagram. Right? You guys can get to know me also from there okay it's not all about the formal lessons only that we get and also you have to get to know someone there okay uh not too close but basically you know basically my activities okay there's nothing uh basically we can actually hide out right now but some other thing we have to be more a bit kind of buried there right but uh you need to know basically who am i basically what i do basically for a living there okay so that means you're going to get to know more closely and understand and you know how to approach me in the future in regular, regarding to, to 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 develop kind of bonding okay between uh teachers lectures and also students okay we we had to create this kind of community there guys all right community of kind of what we call it creative creative kind of communities there okay because when we can actually help each other know each other very well we can get that kind of friendship kind of bondings we might going to we can actually help each other okay because i can help you guys to increase more understanding gain those marks increase your grades at the same times you uh you can learn how actually to build up basically your kind of skill design skills uh, before you're going to graduate there okay and you learn also from anyone else also there right okay but uh we kind of love to get this kind of very positive kind of energy uh, between our students and also with our what we call the lessons there okay uh, so those are the things there, okay because uh remember the guys okay my age is almost like your parents kind of age right okay so that means i'm going to treat you guys as my kids there, okay as my kids and some of my old kind of what we call the students basically uh, start treating me like a friend there right okay i'm okay with it there right okay because the bonding that we create from there they're going to create very strong communities there so you're going to have uh a little bit kind of transparency kind of way of learning experience there again okay? those are the things that really important there. so you can gain more and more kind of exposures there right? okay those are the things there right? so uh, i have another videos that i can have been done right here that can be shared where is it it just now i saw right here there right okay these videos that i uh, that i made just now Uh, basically how actually i using those reference to draw that can be used as a part of the methods that we are going to submit in your first sketch for this week okay hey guys okay the next kind of things that i'm going to okay, check a look here draw directly we have a reference with us right here directly this is some of the references that i have here directly i'm using a normal kind of photo statue works all right okay, not photo normal reference there, okay so i want to show you guys basically how actually i developed that kind of understanding from here there right okay so what i'm going to do right now there right, okay, using the reference that i have okay i'm going to start with a very basic kind of simple kind of lines over here okay simple kind of lines over here there. so the next thing that i'm going to do there okay if I wanted to draw human face, right, I'm going to start with this kind of basic structure so we here, and then I'm going to design basically, basically the the whole shapes of body that face the right, okay? This is basically what we should do here. Okay, if you take a look right now, the guys, okay, I try to control my pressure point. This is one of the most key points that you have to remember when you start to draw. Don't press too much when you draw. Okay, if you check, look nicely. Okay, even though the quality of this, uh, what we call that uh, pencil that I use is quite light there, okay, before I add some details, before I press a little bit more further there, right? But if you check, look closely, okay, I try to measure and control my pressure point when I try to draw the structure that first. This is where the foundations are going to be 
uh, made directly when it comes to start to develop your understanding when you start to draw something based on your reference or based on your imaginations here? First, before we're going to draw the right, okay? So that's basically what we're going to do first, the right, okay? So uh, the, the methods of understanding to draw these subject matters here right now, the right, okay, is not to focus on the details there. Uh, even though this technique is quite advanced at the moment, this is some of the demonstrations that I want to show you guys for first week, how we work at things, okay? So don't get old. Uh, how actually are you going to learn this one, okay? Wait, guys, okay? You're going to learn there from time to time, okay? One step at a time, okay? But, but I want to show you guys how actually do the things there. One of the correct way to learn to draw before you're going to illustrate them there, right? So what I'm going to see from your kind of, what we call that, a design kind of pattern, okay, your exercise for this week, okay, is all about how basically you're going to develop your understanding that first, okay? Develop your understanding that first. Okay, before you to add the kind of details later on. Okay. So that's basically one of the main important kind of things that I want to see from you guys before you go to draw all those kind of details drawing for your projects directly. Okay. Because without that kind of understanding, this kind of understanding here directly, okay, there's no point basically you're going to go from there. We're going to draw, we're going to add basically some understanding first before we to add some of the details then, right? So when I actually draw this kind of subject matter here right now, the right, I didn't focus too much on that kind of details. What I did basically right now, if you can see the right, I just tried to develop that kind of understanding on the basic structures here, right? All the basic structures that face, right? This is something that you're going to learn from time to time, right? before we to add some of the details on your works here, right? There is no point basically you're going to work with a lot of details if you don't actually understand the whole basic kind of structures over here. Okay, this is only a demonstration to show you guys how actually I do things, okay? How actually develop the kind of understanding methods, okay? It's not all about uh, basically how detailed, how good basically we're going to uh, work with the kind of, uh, what we call that, uh, illustrations there, or portrait that we want to have, I think, some measurement kind of lines over here that I'm going to create, right? So it's all about how to create that kind of understanding on our drawings here before we can add a bit kind of details there, the way that we are going to draw the guys. Okay, the way that we're going to draw that first, how to draw basically in the right way. Okay? Hopefully, you guys can check look here right now. Okay, how actually I move things there, right? Okay? How actually I draw things there first before I'm going to add a bit kind of details there. So, we're not actually focus a lot on those kind of detailing before we're going to draw them back there. How we draw those foots, right? How I actually I'm going to render them back, right? Okay? Is a very fast sketch of drawings here. So what we're going to do right now is a fast sketch of drawings there, guys. Okay, it's a fast sketch of drawings there, right? Okay. So I'm going to do those kind of demonstrations to show you guys how actually I draw things. Okay, using those traditional methods there, and then how actually I'm going to work on that later on using those digitals there, right? Okay, in the week three there, right? Okay. So first of all, the whole basic structures how to control your hands, okay, when you draw those structural line there first, all right? Those are the most important thing there, all right? How to control the line at the same time when you want to draw. All right, guys, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Okay, check a look there, guys, okay. What are we going to achieve, we want to try to achieve for these weeks, it's nothing much of the details there, but you're going to draw some details, go ahead. But I want to see how you move your hands, how actually you develop your kind of hands to draw, to control your kind of strokes at the same time. That's basically one of the number one rules that we 
need to achieve first. Okay, how you control your hands there. Can you see there again? Did I actually use any erases? No, there, right? Did I actually try to uh, what we call it, erase my mistakes? I did a lot of mistakes from these drawings there. That's why we call it a rough sketch. Rough sketch there, right? Okay. So that means we try to indicate our understanding first before we to add some details. Okay? Because you just like to build up a house there, okay, or a car there, right? Okay? No one can actually write develop engineers cannot architect cannot develop a building or a house without a strong foundations right so same goes to our skills of illustrations there to develop a strong foundation a strong understanding on illustration and design we have to develop the strong foundations that is so this is one of the foundations that we want to create there right okay? because if the students can do a very good rough sketches there in the right kind of techniques that mean you learn some things important valuable kind of lessons there okay for the semesters okay it's not all about people can draw anime and manga they can be have a very good kind of mark from there if you understand what you do and you know how to control your hands in the right way, okay? That's basically one of the greatest achievement that you can get from these semesters. Before you get into the next lessons of digital illustrations there. That means you're going to do a fully digital illustrations, but of course you can actually go back into your sketch line drawings from time to time, okay? Because to move our hands in the right way is really important. No matter what tools that you guys use, either you're going to use uh, basically, all right, this pen there, right, okay, this tablet pen there, right, okay, the methods of using it, the same things as what you should do using basically those pencils here, all right, the same. But the only thing, right, okay, I show you guys just now how to hold it, okay? Normally when you use pencil, we can use uh, this kind of methods of drawings, all right? Okay, like uh, drawing methods of holding there, right, okay? Like this one, okay? Or this one there, okay? Writing kind of methods there, right? When I, when, when I write, I'm using this kind of methods there to write, okay? But using the tablets, of course, you cannot use this kind of holding, right? Okay. But I think uh, what we can do for iPad pencils, bro, we can hold like this one there, okay? Because they using basically uh, iPad Pro basically, okay, pencils, right? They basically try to imitate the the discipline of artists when they use those pencils. They can use this one or either this one there, okay? To, to, to sketch or to draw your illustrations there. But for uh, the normal tablet pen like this one, <coughs> sorry there, uh, the, we still have to use the writing holding kind of, holding kind of positions over here that you fix. All right, I did also some samples just now, all right, uh, to show some indications, okay, for uh, what we call that, On demonstrations for group five just now. Oh, actually, I sketch without tracing, but I try to capture only the foundations there, not a detailed sketch track. Okay? This is not a detailed sketch track, okay? but a rough sketch track okay? to understand first. Okay, those are the thing the the, the the important things. And I also show you uh, those students the mistakes that people do normally when they start to draw a okay? game. The the middle one basically the the most common mistake that people always do. Okay, we're going to see this kind of drawings a lot. If you don't change the way you draw, okay, change the way you draw the right. So far, any questions there? Eh? Okay, if you use a uh, pen to draw, it's good. I told you right. Okay, it's good. They're right. Okay, so in my Facebooks. 
where we see that just now the right just now basically i have uh take a look here for that This is week one demo. What is this? Oh. Hey guys, okay, the next kind of thing. Oh, this is not the one. Well, this one. Oh, this is some of the things that I record just now, but no demonstration because I already record the demos there, okay? But I don't know where is it here. Okay, let me check that first, day, guys. Hopefully, they will in. I think I have to record back again because the demonstration that I did just now we're based on these drawings, but we're not including there, right? I don't know why they're right. So I think I have to record back again later on, maybe just to show you guys more and more, okay? How to works on that. All right. Okay, let me check there, okay? One of my posts that I create on my Facebook just now, there, right? Uh, yesterday, basically. Okay, this one there, right? Okay, can you see here there? Okay, the drawings over here. You don't know shit about how to stop the game. Make the same level struggle, sacrifice pain. And yo, ain't no question in the battle with the best. You better not. Okay, this is one of the way also we can actually use pen basically to draw the right thing. So we use pen basically, it's hard for us to erase the right. So that means we're going to learn to control as much as we can. Okay, our basic foundation structures before we add some of the details. So it's a very good kind of tools also for you guys to explore uh, and also quite cheap. And it's similar to pencil, but the thing is we cannot actually erase them there, right? Okay, so those are the things that we can actually explore basically when it comes to develop that kind of skill it's all about controlling the strokes there guys all right it's all about how to control the strokes here otherwise if you don't actually learn to control the strokes they they doesn't have any kind of quality of line that we want okay the quality of line that we want here okay and then they develop our kind of understanding of skills that works there right okay so I want to do a bit kind of demonstration, but this kind of demonstration, basically, uh, we, we need to use uh, traditional methods using uh, what we call that. Using uh, pen or pencils, they're right. So <clears throat> let's just say that I want to draw something, okay? From any reference, for example, let's just say I'm using blue colors there. Blue colors there, right? So let's just say I'm using pencil, uh, using pen there to draw the right. Okay? So first of all, if I want to draw using pen there, right, okay, I'm going to start with this kind of line also there. Right? See? Basic structures there. Can you see that, right? Are actually going to work so don't draw something or someone there okay some subject matters uh add some details okay focus more on one areas only there okay what you should do basically here there okay what you can do basically here uh try to develop that kind of way of exploring basically those kind of uh what we call that human kind of post there okay the postures that first before you're going to add a bit kind of detailings here so right now what i'm going to do here i'm going to add a little bit kind of basic structures that first before i'm going to add some of the details okay if i'm going to add those kind of details there 
So that's basically what we can do. If you check, look how actually I draw right now that right. I'm going to start to uh, develop basically my structures here. There's, there's a lot of messy line okay, that a lot of people knew, uh, uh, what we call that, the, the newbies basically like you guys basically doesn't want to use that first when you draw the right, okay? It kind of like, but why you have to draw all this kind of messy kind of line? How are actually going to erase that, right? We don't want, we want to see all this kind of, what we call that, uh, messy line there, okay, when, when we start to draw here, guys, okay? Because without this kind of messy line, we cannot see our mistakes, there, okay? What we can actually improvise from here and how actually we're going to indicate those kind of understanding where you want to learn to draw there, right? Okay, those are the things that are really important here. It's basically the rough kind of sketch before you're going to add a little bit kind of details there, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, basically, I'm going to indicate those uh, those measurement on the line there, they're right. Sorry, there, guys. So I'm going to add some of the details right slowly over here. So it's not all about how detailed you can go from here, but yeah, I want to draw the hairline, but how basically you can. Okay, sorry, there, guys. What is it? What is it texture that should be? Texture is different things there. Oh, texture is different there, okay? Texture is actually about a, a surface there, okay? A detailing on the surface there, okay? So, this is basically the line works there, okay? The line works, the basic structures there. It's not textures there, right? Textures is not a thing, it's a surface, it's a patterns that we call there, right, okay? This is not about rendering first, but it's all about understanding on the form and structures before you're going to add a little bit kind of details, okay? A little bit kind of details there. So that's basically what we try to do here, there, okay? Basic structures, that first. So when you actually have done, uh, basically uh, understanding on the basic structures there and the gestures line at the same time that we call the gestures line there, right? And then you start basically to draw all these kind of details there, right? okay? But it doesn't much of those details that I want to see there, okay? How actually you move your hand first in the right way when you at least start to develop that kind of understanding here. On the whole form of this, what we call that drawing is there, right? Oops. I have to show you guys this demonstration step first before you're going to learn a bit more further on those kind of uh, how to add those kind of details there, right? What I did basically right now there, okay, it's all about basic structures there, not textures there, right, okay? Structures there, right, okay? The basic structure, not textures there, okay? Structure, right, okay? The basic structures of the form of those we call it not human but subject matters there right okay we call it subject matters there okay those are the things here okay even though i want to draw those nodes it's not quite details there okay we're going to learn to draw the nose there okay i'm going to draw those what we call that the eyebrows over here so when I'm using those pen later on, or pencils there, okay, traditionally, okay, as you actually have seen just now there, okay, I'm going to use the same methods there, guys, that works. So right now, we're going to develop this kind of understanding when you sketch there. Right? If you're going to sketch like this, a very rough kind of sketch, it's more than enough there, okay, in order to, to see how far you can go from there. 
okay, what with any kind of reference that you want to draw. Okay, I'm not going to take a look, okay, how detailed you can draw this kind of person there, right, okay, and they become a bit more super realistic, right, okay? uh, those other things is an extra, right, it's a bonus, right, okay? if you want to show your, your kind of what we call that skills there. But the things that I want to see, okay, a lot of people always make mistakes, okay, they try to draw as detailed as they want, but the proportion is wrong, right, okay? because from here, we can see basically how the people control the line there, okay? Those are the first thing that we want to do there, okay? When we start to develop this kind of understanding here. And let's just say I have another photos right here there, right? This is something that I want to show you guys what are the mistakes that people always do, okay? People always do there, okay? Okay, when they start to draw this reference over here, we have a very nice kind of photos there right here. There, right? Most people we start to draw like this one. Okay, you not actually develop the structures there. You try to draw the line, the shapes there first. Okay, so they start to draw the line like this. How many of you guys draw like this? So, this is basically not the correct way to draw there, guys. If you start to draw like this, right, that means you have to change from now on how you're going to draw. This is not basically an effective way to learn to draw. If you still draw like this, all right, right, you hesitate your line, you don't know where to go there, right, okay? Sometimes, and then you erase, right? And then you draw back again, and then you erase there, right? You spend more times erasing other than understanding how to develop the basic foundations of your subject matters when you draw. It's quite hard to understand at the first time, okay? Because I also have that kind of issue when I was like you guys there. Okay, don't worry, that okay, we learn back again. But as long as you can set your mind to change, okay, sometimes right, it doesn't look accurate there, guys. Even though how hard you try, it doesn't look accurate there, right? Why? Because you don't develop that kind of understanding on the foundations there. How many of you guys draw like this? Okay, please put on the chat box. Right. right. Sometimes the, the, the hands also, you cannot actually write, see whether it's right or not. Okay. So this kind of problem happens all the times. Okay. All the times there, right? Okay? A lot of people who doesn't have that kind of understanding, they always, always have this kind of uh, issues there, right? Problems that we have. It doesn't know how to work there, right? Okay? On the right kind of way. Even though when they draw the right, okay, they always leave the face. Why? Okay, they don't know how to draw the eyes and the face there. Right? Sometimes they draw the face look like this. The nose. Like this there, right? Okay? It doesn't look like the same person there, right? Okay? One. And the second thing, right, you make it more ugly there, right, okay? How many of you guys draw like this one there, right, okay? Right. How many of you guys draw like that? So, Huilim said, right, okay, erase until I don't want to draw. Yes, that's why we basically have to avoid them first and to start to practice directly. Practice basically to move our hands there first and understand the, the, the whole basic form and structures there first. But this week, I just want to test you guys how far 
your level of skills there. That's why I don't want to put any regulations there first, but I will show you guys how actually I developed that kind of foundation of understanding there first. Okay, you guys can check a look also on the books that I actually have been shared with you guys here. All right. So I will demonstrate to you guys a bit more and more further there, okay? But these books that I actually have were basically are going to be uh, a part of your revisions there, okay? okay? This book, basically, you don't have to go to libraries anymore, right? Okay, I just download for you guys, okay? And also give you guys some sort of revisions kind of materials there, okay? Uh, just to give you guys a guideline, there, okay? The materials, the examples of how to uh, learn to develop this kind of strokes and line, which is we're going to do also in our exercise, okay? For the following weeks, okay? So there's a lot of exercise there that we can do also. And we will do basically, guys, okay, to works, okay, in traditional methods and also digital methods. Some of the drawing materials there, how to control uh, the line itself, they're right, okay? So all these kind of things uh, were really important that before we're going to draw anything in this world, there, guys, okay? So we have to learn the foundations back again before we're going to develop that kind of understanding there. This is basically one of the, look, the line is quite clean there, okay? There is no erasers uh, we're, we're been using from here there, right, okay? So this one, okay, selections of erasers, I want to, I want to uh, remind you guys there, okay? We only use erasers, not to erase our drawing normally, but basically we're going to use it to create some highlights. Right, highlights there, okay, for our drawings, not to erase our mistakes. All right, uh, this one there, okay, this is one of the things that we use for erasers there. Wash away holding the pencil, and can you see basically the rough line, uh, what we call that strokes that we have in, the, in this diagonal line there, okay? That's how actually they use erasers there to create those kind of textures. Uh, someone actually told me about textures just now, they're right. Uh, this is what we call shading and textures. There are texturing, okay, using those rendering methods there. We use erases to do those kind of rendering methods there. Right? So even though the drawing is not quite accurate for the samples there, okay, but it's a very good kind of indications of measurement there, which is we cannot do it basically in online sessions because normally we're going to do it uh, basically in our face-to-face -face kind of sessions there. But I'm going to help you guys to understand a bit more using those digital methods by using those layering there, okay? Layering there, right, okay? And when, when we come to uh, digital methods there, we draw basically the postures line there first before we get to add some of the basic structures line and some of the detailing there. This is not a robot's drawings, but this is the indication of the human basic form and structure there. Remember guys, okay? The element of design came from all these kind of elements. There are various top elements, right? Okay? Around seven to eight elements, there, okay? which is from line, shapes, textures, colored, form, value, and tone. There, okay? So the principle of uh, what we call that, uh, of those kind of design of illustration is all about balance, harmonized, the flows, uh, what we call that, the continuities there, basically, okay, a pressure kind of strokes there, okay, attentions there, okay, uh, those kind of things there, okay, that we actually can, uh, you you will actually learn from time to time there, okay. This is how the, how to indicate those kind of measurement on the structures before you're going to add some details. Uh, this is some of the perspective drawings there, okay, using those, what we call the, the window mounted kind of analysis there, right, okay. Uh, all this kind of what reference basically, right? Okay, reference from the books is very, very, very valuable for you guys, okay? Especially for the new generations here, right? How actually they indicate those kind of sketch line like this, hey guys, okay? A very quite fast kind of sketch line there, okay? We want to develop that kind of understanding there. So all the elements, all the subject matters that we want to draw, they will came from all these kind of basic shapes and form. From circle, ellipse, ovals, all right, oblong, square, triangles, okay? They become all these kind of objects or form that we call them. All right, okay? the mixture, there, okay? Either you can draw human characters, animals, or any character design. 
they came from these kind of basic structures there. Okay, if you don't believe me, there, right? Okay, let just say we look into the manga. All right, write the sketch. Okay, take a look here, direct. Okay, don't look at the finished kind of line. Okay, look at the basic structures over here. Okay, when they draw them, right? Okay, I have also those books that I actually have shared with you guys. Okay, how to draw manga, they're right. So all these kind of uh, references or resources, you guys can download them and use as a part of your guide, okay? And you want to learn to draw back again. Even though you know how to draw manga, I think I can bet some of you guys here can draw manga very well, but the, is it a matrix it's the right way or not? So this is some of the books that I actually, I have actually the books physically there, right, okay? I have two or three versions of these books there. So uh, this is the PDF versions that I get. So you guys can actually take a look how actually people start to sketch before the final works like this. All right. Professional manga artists and illustrators are also begin their work with the user friendly regular mechanical or mechanical pencil, okay? But regular pencils, right? Okay? But don't try to use mechanical pencil there yet. Use normal pencils there first to draw again, sharpen your pencil at the same times. All right. They use a lot of thumbnail sketch before you add some details there. So there's a lot of sketch that we had to go through right here. This is what we call rough sketch, thumbnail sketch, a rough sketch, some of the detail and the cleanup line there, right? So this is some of the sketch line that we did, that, that they did basically, okay, in order to draw the posters before they add some details. So you have to go through with all this kind of process that first. This is the under process that we call gesture line postures kind of post before you get to add some details there. No one actually just draw something directly unless there are masters there, okay? Like Kim Jung there, okay? This Korean kind of guy there, okay? But he actually have practiced for so many years there, okay? To develop that kind of way of working there, okay? So uh, it's impossible for you guys to do those kind of things, even in practice a lot. Even I also doesn't practice a lot like that, directly because I have the various type of discipline that I have, I have to focus directly. But this guy, the Korean guy, okay, they actually right. He actually a focused, dedicate himself to work with that kind of one particular kind of way of working. There. That's why they can be good at it, right? Okay. Uh, this is one of the process I see from the earlier kind of development sketches, a few number kind of posters. And then they design a gestures line like this one before they add some of the details, okay, for the for the rough sketch. And then they begin to draw back again some of the details before they add some of the elements, okay, on the stroke itself. And the final works like this, okay. The cleanup line that we call it, okay. A few number kind of sketches there, okay. Can you see the difference there when they draw? Basically, they improvise from their first sketches there right so if you really want to become if you want to draw manga make sure you can draw more better kind of manga okay from any other japanese kind of peoples simple as that and of course manga is an asian kind of styles and it's not basically a japanese only because they actually claim uh, asian kind of styles okay about our Asian nations are going to be a manga style. Okay? It's a Malaysian kind of style there. So I didn't actually write, I really love those manga, okay? But try not to just obsess into one style. Okay, if you want to become a very good multimedia artist and students there, okay? Don't obsess into one style there. Open up yourself to develop various type of styles there from time to time. Be more flexible, okay? Just like Bruce Lee said there, okay? Be a water there, okay? When you in a cup, become a cup. When you teapot, become a teapot. There, okay? Become a water there, okay? Because water flows nicely and form according to the situation that they have there, okay? So remember that. So, but practice all the times to improve your kind of strokes and drawing skills. Say, control the basic structures before you're going to add those kind of details there. 
we're going to go through all this kind of exercise okay in the meantime okay in from time to time the right thing but practice your hand to draw in the right way that first okay so this is this book also is very valuable for you guys i'll give you guys free the right again because i know basically the students need a lot of resources there all right need a lot of resources from here so uh i even though our college fee is not included this one but i want to give you guys okay as a part of my contribution for for my students there okay so then you guys can get a free kind of looks and keep basically this kind of what we call that uh books for you guys okay in order to develop your skills okay so it's very good kind of things and because in my times it's hard for us to find this kind of reference okay i have to buy books there okay from bashi and also page one and I will spend a lot of my time in our libraries there, okay? But our libraries also have a very good kind of, uh, what we call that, uh, resources there, okay? But hopefully, after all this kind of MCO pandemic, okay, if you can go back into our uni there, okay, please do spend time on the libraries. There's a lot of good books out there, there okay, over there, there, okay? So I really love to spend also my time on the libraries there, okay, to find a lot of good books from there. So if you can take a look on a physical type, it's more better, okay? This is some of the wrongdoing, wrong kind of what we call that mistake that people always do there, okay? So it's very good kind of uh, reference that we have here, okay, that I actually include in our in our folders there, okay, that you guys can use it for, for your reference, okay? And the other thing that we have here right now is animal drawings there, right, okay? This is also one of the good books that I can find from here that you guys can learn also back again how to draw the basic. So all these kind of books that I give you guys, it's all about to enhance the way that you develop the structures there. Develop the kind of structures there, okay? It's not all about, okay, how to draw perfectly done, okay, but how to draw the process to learn to draw in the right way at first. If you're going to draw perfect there, okay, or you do draw more better there, okay, learn to develop that kind of aesthetical beauty of understanding to draw in the right way so when you understand the whole basic form and structures easy for you to draw anything from that particular kind of uh, what we call that shape form uh, positions there right the cape or angles at the same time right? okay but all these kind of skills won't be able to master in 14 weeks but you guys can get those kind of exposures definitely but without your kind of efforts to develop your kind of understanding by working around the clock all right to practice yourself you won't be able to develop that kind of understanding even though we cannot we, we don't actually write uh, go into more details like this but you guys can use it as a reference there because you want to learn to design human or any characters there okay even though animals there okay you must be able to understand a bit on the anatomy there okay? even though we're not going going to go through more details but they will this is one of the examples samples of reference that you guys can use in the futures if you 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 really interested to develop your kind of skills in illustrations there in illustration there even though you want to draw a cartoon styles of animals there right okay? the whole basic structure is also important is there if you take a look at my kind of works that i've done right, okay all the things that i've done were based on the basic structures there first before i'm going to add those kind of details there so that's why i don't uh try to be more what we call that uh fascinated there okay with the with with this kind of reference there okay first okay that's why i don't want i don't want you guys to draw from anime there right okay don't draw from anyone anime step first you will draw your own kind of anime styles when it comes to your projects there right okay right now draw from real photos there get right, okay? real photos there right, okay but when you want to draw those real photos, then you want to convert. You want to convert basically, right, okay, into some of the anime kind of looks based on the reference, based on the actual reference. Go ahead. All right. 
but don't draw from anime drawing. Let's just say you take a look at this kind of drawings, you draw back them back again. I don't want to see those kind of drawings. There. Okay, you take a look at this one, you redraw back again. I don't want to draw this one, right? Okay, if you look to look, take a look at this one, right? Okay, and then you you redraw, you copy back again. I don't want you guys to copy from other people's works yet. Okay, so draw from real reference. All right, so let's just say you have that. Korean kind of poster pin up guy, for example. Or actors. For example, like this one, okay? Okay, you can draw full figures. You can draw also uh, half body there, okay? So let's just say you have this kind of crush with this kind of what we call that actors, for example, okay? so like, because my kids also have this kind of things there, all right? Let's just say you have this kind of uh, a reference that you have. Then you want to redraw back again, there, right, okay? But you're using those kind of what we call that. Okay, this is the wrong way to draw there, guys. Don't draw this one. Okay, this is not the right way to draw. So let's just say that, mm, Have this one right this right here so you want to draw this guy there right first of all what you can do here there, right draw the basic structures there how to draw the basic structures using pencils there right or pen okay, these are the things that you guys can do okay the most important thing that i try to work right now were uh, basically, I'm going to basically right, okay, draw the, the rough sketch okay, of this face there first. But of course, in this very short kind of times, I will not basically draw the portraits, the detailed portrait of him. Okay? But the way that I draw that right now, right, okay, if you take a look here, right? I try to indicate those kind of understanding deficits. Okay? Understanding deficits. So a little bit more like what you call that, like a cartoon style, but it's not a cartoon style there. Right? It's, a, it's a very graphical kind of illustrations kind of styles there, right? okay? Of drawings. So I'm trying to indicate a little bit kind of understanding right here. So the nose are going to be right here, there, right? And then these are going to be the eyebrows. See how actually I indicate those kind of structures there, guys? So the lips are going to be right here. A bit kind of diagonal there, right? Okay, we're going to go through with this one there, okay? But at the moment, just uh, what we call that. Get those kind of understanding there first when you want to draw the again. So at the moment, this is the basic structures that I want you guys to develop there, okay, from time to time when it, when it comes to work with your understanding here. And when you get those right, and of course, there's a lot of methods that we, we have to apply, okay, from this uh, way of working there, okay. A lot of people, okay, to draw the nose also, there's a, there's a lesson that we can go through okay later on okay to draw the eyes there right? okay a lot of people have a mistake to draw the eyes there right so what i'm going to do i'm going to draw like this there first okay basic structures of those eyes there right so design the eyes also have the the methods of working there right okay but if you take a look how actually i work with those kind of drawings I didn't focus only one area's deficit. A lot of mistakes that people always do, that I always do also, okay, uh, back in the days, I always focus on one area's deficit. That's basically my mistakes there. So that's why I didn't actually get it right. So the, the key to draw, basically, the okay, normally, try to draw overalls there, okay? Not focus only one areas only when it comes to 
develop that kind of understanding there and how fast basically you can get the right kind of strokes the right kind of indication of understanding will define whether you really really know how to work with your drawings or not or work with your subject matters or not there see so this is the first rough kind of sketch that we can see whether you really really understand about your drawings or not there right okay the rough kind of what, what we call that but from here then you want to draw some anime styles there okay go ahead okay the eyes are going to be a bit more closer there okay so i can know the mistakes that i've done there okay so i can detect this kind of indication of mistakes there. So that's why we have to do this kind of rough kind of sketch there first. So I didn't actually attempt to design or, or draw his portrait entirely there first. What I can do, I didn't erase there, right? One of the most important thing that you have, you learn from here, am I actually try to erase my mistakes no there right because i'm not focusing on draw the portrait there guys what i try to do right now i try to develop the kind of structures of the subject matters based on the photos of him as a reference So if we focused a lot on the on the details, okay, there's a lot of things that we have to consider right here first before we are going to uh, what we call that. So what we draw the eyebrows over here. A very simple kind of a rendering there, I can recall. This. Okay. The lips basically, okay, a bit more lower here. And then I'm going to render a little bit on the shadows line over here there, okay? Just to add a bit kind of the illusion of details there. But a very rough kind of sketch there, guys, okay? I didn't actually focus a lot from there. Just want to show you guys how to draw basically in the right way there first. So if you can actually write, submit the works like this, you can see how far basically I guess can go from here. Okay, it's not enough kind of details, right? It's not that quite accurate there, right? Okay, but you can basically show basically your kind of understanding from here. Okay, if I, let's just say you draw using your pen there, right? Calvin there, right? Uh, so you can actually start with this, okay? Anyone want to draw using pen, just like this one there, okay? That I actually, but not digital there, using those, uh, what we call that uh traditional methods here you guys can do it there right draw the ears also people also have a lot of issues there right okay? if you're not controlling well so let's just say okay i just do some rough kind of rendering over here right to create some of the textures line uh to indicate those kind of shapes okay we create textures like this rendering textures like this to indicate those kind of shadows there, okay? For some of you guys, uh, what we call that. So basically a rough kind of line here there, okay, guys? I didn't actually focus a lot on those kind of details, but it's enough for you to develop that kind of show that, oh, basically, the person, when you go to the interviews there, okay, 
you can see whether the student, the, the person can draw or not from this kind of line there, okay? It's very sketch uh, kind of lines, but it takes a few minutes there to work, not hours there to work there, okay? So that's basically one of the important rules when it comes to develop that kind of right understanding to, to draw the first, okay? I'm not focusing on the details and I'm not trying to erase my mistakes, even though there is a lot of mistakes that I can actually improve from you. So, the things that really important for you guys to work here, there, okay, to understand about your mistakes, there, okay, because uh, it's not going to draw one single drawing in the perfect time, there, okay, in, in, in the perfect way if you have limited kind of time there. So, what you can do, okay, if you take a look closely, okay, this is basically some of my mistakes that I should improve right here, okay. The eyes also, the okay, the indication of the eyes. So important to know about that kind of mistakes there, okay? When you want to draw the okay, the nose basically also to look a bit more like this, right? But this part also, people always have that kind of mis uh, problem there, okay? When it comes to develop that kind of understanding, uh, the measurement between the the what we call that. The lips there, okay, the upper lips there, okay, they will be, be more like this one here, right? It's a bit kind of in this side there, right, okay? So if you don't have enough kind of understanding, it's hard for you to indicate your kind of mistake there. Right now, because I draw a quick, a very quick kind of sketch there, right? So that means I can actually indicate my own mistakes here. I can indicate my own mistakes there, okay? When I want to develop that kind of way of working there, okay? So all these kind of mistakes that you guys will learn from time to time, indicate your own mistakes, will give you more advantage to understand a little bit kind of way of working there right? because if you cannot understand or indicate your mistakes that's basically one of the uh, curse that you guys have there okay that you won't be able to improve yourself in the futures that's what we're afraid of there already right? Even though the, the line of those, what we call that, eyebrows are so a bit kind of a bit more further up over there, there, right? All these kind of things really important when you draw, you try to indicate this kind of understanding of your own mistakes, all right? And then you learn from time to time from there. Okay, learn from that kind of mistakes there. All right, guys. Mouse like a sausage there, right? Yes. Okay, we can actually learn back again later on. Okay, don't worry, Mr. Okay, we learn one step at a time, Mr. Okay. There's a lot of things that we need to learn, basically. All right. Uh, that's why basically we need more times and be patient there to learn from time to time, okay? So those are the things there, guys. So um, avoid making the same mistakes. Okay, when it comes to draw, don't draw uh, those subject matters look like this there first. All right? And when you start to draw directly for this week, you start to draw like this one. Okay? Okay, please don't draw like this one there, right? Some people will draw like this one, okay? Remember that, okay? So it becomes like this. So please don't draw like this one, guys, huh? 
So not, not become the person that you want to draw. They become someone else. Right. But this is basically a wrong way of drawing is there, okay? So we want to develop that kind of understanding to draw in the right way that is. Can you see the difference there? Okay. So start with the drawing is there, okay? Can you guys see the difference? So remember that guys, okay? Learn to draw in the right way because to move our hand is not that easy, okay, to get the flows right and also to understand the basic structures and form. But you have to practice and practice first, right? Okay, that's why. Okay, the number of exercises that we're going to do a following weeks will depend on how actually you're going to work on that. Okay, so it doesn't mean that 10 drawings that you complete are going to be good. Sometimes we'll a bit more. My kind of experience that I get from my lessons there, okay, when my lecturers ask me to draw, um, for example, 10, 10 basically drawings there, okay, I will do more than that. I will do more than that, there, right, okay. Uh, that's how actually I get improved myself. And I still improve more in time and time to time, there, right, okay, but design skills cannot be. In, uh, masters for 14 days or 14 weeks there, okay, or one semester or, or, or four or five semesters there. They have to be continuing to develop those skills there. And remember like like uh, our our greatest champions there, okay, Dato uh, Li Chong Wei, okay, he's a, become a great kind of badminton player, there, right? So do you think basically he actually practiced his uh, skills of playing badminton one year only there, right? To become good. He actually been trained with Linda there, right? So that mean there, okay? They were trained, been trained in the early stage, in the early years, okay? From their teenagers there, right? So they've been trained for several years there, okay? For so many years before they get good at it and they learn also from the good masters there, right, okay? Uh, a good guru there, okay, a professional there, okay, who trained them. Same goes what you guys have been working on right now, okay? You've been trained by professionals there, right? I'm basically is a industrial practice professional in the in the multimedia there, okay? As I actually have shown you guys those uh, certificate that I have there, okay? Those, those kind of what we call that recognition that I have there, okay? So uh, I am the one, I'm... I'm not only the one who actually best in what I do, okay, a lot of lectures that we have in Thai UC also the same there, okay, and I'm one of them basically who actually have been developed that kind of skill from so many years there, okay, and I'm, we still actually develop ourselves there, but uh, unfortunately at, at, at this stage there, okay, uh, I try to develop it more kind of simplified kind of works there, okay, because uh, because of my routine and my interest of developing the works uh, were changes from, from years to years there, okay? So you guys have seen uh, my, my earliest work, my recent works, they're basically okay, in, in, in numerous type of styles there. So that means uh, they will be evolved, okay? You guys also will be evolved in the future there, okay? So right now you love to draw those anime, manga kind of styles, they're right. In the future, we never know there, okay? But if you put your fire, everything inside your works, you will get a lot of involvement from there, okay? And the best thing is, if you know how to make a living out of it there, okay, you will be more intrigued to develop more kind of skills in the future there. Nowadays, there's a lot of things that we can actually learn from, uh, from a formal lesson and also from what we call that uh, some online sessions there right okay? but it doesn't mean that you can learn from youtube for any kind of uh what we call that uh what we call that channels that okay? it can be improved there but it can enhance a bit more kind of understanding of that okay my kind of lessons that i create also a bit kind of detail when i come to try to explain directly okay? at the same times okay 
I try to give a little bit kind of understanding and how it works there. Okay, so uh, this is basically my social media. Okay, I I done a lot of uh, do a lot of what we call an upload with not regarding only my works but also lifestyle, my personal life. There, right? Okay, some kids, some family values. There, okay, I try to balance them up. There, right? Okay, and by the same times, I share a lot also my kind of previous kind of works there. Okay, those are the things there, okay. The animations kind of works there, some life journey there, okay, at the same time there, okay. Some demonstrations that I did before, okay, uh, that I actually did also in in my channels there, okay. You guys can see and take a look back again later on there, right. So uh, it's a good thing, basically, you guys can actually, right, just browse there and take a look back again. Uh, this is some of the things that I actually get also from. I, my contribution on one of the textbooks, okay, in our uh, what we call that School of Arts there, okay, I think last year there, okay, 2020 there, okay, so one of the features that I can contribute myself as a digital artist there, okay, in one of the textbooks there, okay, in our local kind of publications there. So, if you take a look, okay, this is some of the assignments that I did with the students there using a different kind of stroke and line, okay, different kind of styles there, okay. So it's very fun there, okay, if you can actually draw a lot of things that okay, can not just uh, portray yourself to draw only one particular kind of style there. So you can get a more flexible, okay, kind of way of working there, right? That's basically one of the most important things there. This is one of the digital exercise illustrations that, that we did basically for the last two semesters. Uh, digital caricatures using portraits of my son face and also a Shazam there, okay? Using the computer's kind of Photoshop kind of works there. So a lot, this is one of my, this is our lab, there, okay? One of the computer lab, all right? This is some of my uh, demonstrations that I did okay, using reference, all right? Using reference there, okay, using those line drawings. So, um, <clears throat> Because before COVID, there, okay, before our pandemic, there, okay, uh, I kind of doesn't, I didn't use this kind of what we call that this uh, Google Meet kind of recording sessions there. So, but after that, okay, we have to learn a bit more further how to work on that there, okay. It's very grateful because uh, we can actually write, do a lot of what we call that improvisation on our lessons there. This is some of the digital kind of styles, but we can actually apply back again uh this is some of the students kind of works okay using digital kind of uh illustration style this is our lab there guys okay uh, this is from one of my previous students i think they have been graduated right okay this is around 2019 there this is multimedia students the one who's taken there eh? all right okay taking a digital illustrations subjects we do a lot of layerings just not tracing but drawing on top of the layers there <clears throat> okay so we did a lot of but this guy this this kind of students basically they they actually learn digitals in the second semesters but you guys have a privilege to develop that kind of skill both skills in traditional and digital in the first semesters there so that's a good thing about uh, the pandemic kind of uh, things that we have here because we can actually improvise our lessons to make a full use of our students there this is basically one of my hobbies there, guys. Like I just want to share you guys there, right? Okay. Because we still have time over here, okay. Um this is my toy collections there, right? Okay. I love Star Wars very much. All right. So some of the things that I actually have, some of the little things that I have, all right. Uh that I collect, there, okay. Basically, I collect it for my son there, right? Okay, for my kids there, but uh they have a privilege to play, but after they actually throw away all the stuff, the right, okay, I kept back again on the boxes. I think when they actually grow a bit more older, the right, okay, and more appreciate on the work on on the toys, I will give back again to them to play, the right. So that's other things, the right. Okay. These are some of the hobbies, the right. Okay. So as a as a designer, as a lecturer, as an artist, the right, okay, uh, I love to collect things, the right. Okay. I want to share with you guys. These are some of the earliest works that I have. This is one of my final year projects, there, right? Okay, this is some of my sketches. Okay, about the aliens characters there. 
drawings. Oh, this is some of my, some of our demonstrations there. Okay, in our dry media subjects. Okay, using the sketchbooks there to draw in. Okay, this is uh, from the lessons here. Okay. So the next thing. Is so using charcoal drawings. Okay. This is one of my earliest works that I did when I when I was a final year project there, okay? On animations, I create these kind of characters here. Look a little bit kind of uh, grotesque and also erotic here, but I didn't actually plan to design like that, right? Okay? Uh, based on that subject matter, I designed my subject matter based on the caricatures and also an alien characters and also a uh, fruits there, right? So I create these kind of clay models. So this is basically when I was uh, a fifth semester there, right? Okay? In my early years there, right? Okay? Early years there. Okay? This is when I was. Uh, when I graduate, I work for some of the one of the companies there. So I become their sculptures director and also a visualizer there for for one of the pilot projects for animation. That this is me basically in the fifth semesters. Okay. I create basically this is one of my earlier studios. Okay, when I when I've learned the right okay, at the times. This is basically uh, my kind of groups of people who actually been working with the uh, with the educational kind of what we call that uh, programs, which is the industrial kind of practice. Okay, so we have a good time there. Okay, working and also having a good time there. Okay, bring the kids together. Okay, when I do those works there, right? So it's very nice kind of what we call the experience there. Okay, but after pandemic, okay, we have to stop a little bit. And we have to focus more on the online sessions there. And I also love to sell durian okay, at the time there, right? Okay. So this is some of the stalls, okay. Anyone love durian there, right? But so some of the things that I play around there. Okay, just want to guys to get to know, okay, the hobby that I have also there, right? Okay. This is when I actually had get a problem with my CPU there, right? Okay? So I just playing around with it. And put my kind of action figures on the CPUs there. <laughs> All right, have fun with the life there, right? Okay, pandemic basically give a lot of uh, things. Basically, we can become more creative there. Okay, other than that, I'm scared a little bit. There, right? All right, I'm scared a little bit with my kids there. Right? Okay, where anyway, there is no pandemic there. Right? So uh, this is some of the illustration styles for my demonstrations. Okay, for digital illustration classes, this is more into the digital illustration classes over there, right? Okay, some of the caricatures kind of drawings, some of the activities that I did with the kids there, program there, right? Okay, drawing classes there. So, uh, what else there, right? Okay, some digital illustration classes, some of my friends there, right? Okay, working there, right? Okay, drawings here. So this is from dry media kind of subjects. I draw those anatomies there, right? Using those charcoals. Some of the commission work that I did before. All right, working with those kind of TNG there, right? Okay, touch and go. Some of the children's books, illustrations works. Some animation that I uh, collaborate with one of the animators there. They did also some of the sculptings kind of things so this is basically one of my good friend okay clicks okay mr reese he actually teaching typographies and graphic design all right before the pandemic there right before the okay this is some of the works of the students there the okay, works of the students from the earlier stage i reckon they, they use the <coughs> exercise drawings and then they develop this kind of understanding that this is the final works that we actually did there, okay, with the students. Very nice drawing there, right? Uh, from the dry media subjects. So you can see the earlier stage of drawings there become a little bit more details and a little bit more understanding there, okay, on the shading and stuff there, right, okay? He's one of the best students also that I have there, okay, at the time there, right? So the studio works. Okay, nice studio works there, right? Okay, we did those kind of final works over there. But this is some of the illustrations kind of projects. Right? But we don't do these kind of things anymore. 
because I want to focus a little bit more further on your foundations there, guys, okay? Because you're going to learn about color studies there, okay? You're going to learn about color studies. You're going to learn about introduction to us, okay, manually there, okay? So why not I focus more on the foundations there, okay? Hopefully, they can, you can have related all this kind of stuff together when it comes to develop your design set of skills there, right? So this is basically me, okay, in the studios there, all right? We do this kind of what we call that uh, consultations on the works. Okay, basically this basically one of my demonstrations that I did. Okay, with the drawing itself, they're using the reference there. Right? Okay, I'm using the the drawing board there. Okay, to the, to draw this kind of what we call that. Okay, this is when actually right demonstrate student actually show those photos and videos over there. All right. I'm having a very good kind of record at times, okay, to share those knowledge. This is something that I actually have demonstrate the students okay, before the pandemic there, okay, because we didn't have proper kind of cameraman, right, okay. So I asked one of the students to record the sessions there, right, to to have that kind of uh, recording and take a look and how actually we're going to work on that, okay. So a very good kind of experience that we have. Uh, this is my earlier kind of drawing there, guys, when I was like your age, eight, 17, 18 there, okay? It's not much, okay? But at that times, I would say that, oh, I can draw well, okay? But basically, there's a lot of wrong kind of methods and techniques we have here. But this is something that I draw from imagination, is there, right? So see my drawings before this, right, okay? So very naive, okay? This is when I actually I start to grow myself learn formally in our first semesters there okay i start to draw a lot of natures tree uh, this is my earlier kind of drawings there guys okay i start to draw also from comics there okay but it's not the right way basically for you guys to to improve your drawing skill but i love uh to combine all i've learned before and to develop that kind of understanding and and and, and learn to to develop the skill at the same time this is some of the drawing that i did uh, from my imaginations drawings, okay, this is from comic book that I draw and copy back again there, right, okay? I just want to learn a bit more further on my kind of skills there. This is something basically I've done basically from comic books that, okay, that I actually draw that, okay? I copy back again there, okay? This is something that I want to learn about. This is some the efforts that we have because when I actually have that kind of opportunity, like you guys, to learn formally there, okay? I have more time to experiment myself, okay? experiment, explore myself. So other than I doing those assignments, the, the assignment, the exercise that my lectures have given me there, okay? I do a side kind of uh, work projects at midnight just to practice myself. So I want to develop more further on my skills uh, beyond basically my classroom kind of exercise so i did a, a few number kind of what we call the explorations there draw from comic based on sketches there okay but at the times i use also erasers there to draw but i want to learn how to color manually there right okay so that's how actually i develop myself from here there right that's all one of my earlier stage there okay uh, this is something that i actually show students how to draw the gestures line I draw on the on the what we call the, the surface of the floor there right okay just want to show you guys okay if i have the model in front of me when i want to draw using charcoals how i should develop that kind of skills of understanding there guys okay very fun to work on that so um this is some of the earlier kind of uh, process of working there okay uh, when we have the dry media subjects all right some of the sketches okay rough Quick kind of sketches that I did basically, okay, to draw this kind of uh, what we call that uh, subject matters in front of me there, okay, just like I did, did just not okay, but draw from uh, the structures, the basic form structures are really important, guys, okay, in order for you guys to develop that kind of understanding there, right? At the time, basically, right, okay, I didn't have a uh, kind of knowledge basically to record the whole sessions there, okay. So I just record using this kind of time lapse kind of apps there, right, okay? During the process of working here, okay? 
so it's quite very hard okay to hold your cameras at the same time uh draw the right okay but i managed to work on that to show the students how it works okay so basically this is solves so i kind of try to develop it more further and further there okay this is some of the demonstrations that i did okay in the classrooms so more demonstrations there all right it's very nice kind of experience there guys okay it works and this is some of the different kind of works that i did there okay using my sketch in, inside my sketchbooks okay inside my sketchbooks there okay i just exploring a little bit more further there right so don't limit yourself like okay? this is some animations work that i did all right okay it's not finished yet, right? Okay, but this is something that I actually did for the clients there to do samples of working the directly. Okay? So be more flexible on your works, and you can get a bit more further. Right? Okay, this is some traditional way of sketches using watercolors combined with charcoal, color pencil, Conte at the same time. The right, okay. Some of the things that I've done basically, okay, for for my kind of improvement on my sketch. The right. Uh, this is basically Miss Vivian Juanuru, basically, right? Okay? Who actually have been transferred because she actually right have been uh moved to Sabah there, right? Okay? I think at KK there, right? So we have a very good time there, right? Okay, uh with our colleagues here. So this is some of my demonstrations that I did, okay. Drawing combined, Jack Ma and also body of uh what we call that Bruce Lee. All right. So for our digital affirmation classes. All right, so a lot of things there, guys. Okay, a lot of things that happens there. Okay, uh, so you have to be patient to develop your skills. All right, okay, be patient that develop your skills there to works. So don't jump too fast, basically, right? To draw uh, on one particular style only there, right? Okay, so improve yourself from time to time that like, develop your skills because it will be more uh what we call that it will give you more advantage in the future there i think this is the one that i get to make. take a look here but no there's not this one quick one demos this is basically our demonstrations just now lecturing class This one. Hey guys, okay, the next kind of things that I'm going to This one, the video that just now that we did there. Right? I don't think that they have there. Okay, I have to record back again. All right. So, any questions there, guys? What is it there, Kevin? Okay, your father also like what is it there? All right, your father actually looking at the at our sessions there of Star Wars there, right? Yes, right. I think my my age and your dad also in the same age there, right? Huh? Who actually collect toys here? For fifty plus there, right? Okay, okay. I am around forty six there, right? Okay. Yeah. Is this a number there, right? So guys, uh, who actually collect toys there, right? Anyone collect toys? So, but uh, it's been a while that I didn't actually bought any toys there, okay, because uh, it kind of focus more on the works there, okay, when, when it comes to the pandemics there, okay, and life there, right? So, hopefully you guys will gain a bit kind of understanding right here on our lessons and get more exposures. Those are the most important things there, okay? You guys can see the bright side of way of working there, okay? It's not only one particular kind of way of working to develop your knowledge in multimedia is there right so i will assist you guys share with you guys uh what we call that along the journey here okay to to develop that kind of understanding from time to time there okay so hopefully you guys will be more uh what we call that bring you full energies positive kind of what we call the energies in our room there, okay? 
because I will I will try to engage and help you guys to gain more understanding from time to time, right? Okay? So remember what I say, to develop the right way of drawing is more important than to draw styles at first. Okay? So develop the right way of drawing is at first. So those are the most important thing here. So we're going to learn to draw one step at a time. We're going to learn to draw how to draw the eyes, how to draw lips, nose, ears, hands, legs, body part, the whole figures there, right? Okay. Uh, in, in, in this kind of following weeks there, okay. And also we're going to draw a bit kind of three natures there, right? Okay. And all the methods that we're going to draw is almost going to be the same kind of movements there, controlling the basic structures controlling the strokes and line the pressure point of your hands when you move your hands there, okay? And understand also about the whole structures that first that works, all right? So, so have any question? Do you have any question there, guys? Do you have any kind of classes after this? No? All right, so hopefully you guys, okay, get something from, from these lessons, okay, for, the, for this week. And I'm really glad to see you guys today, there, okay? Anyone want to open up your webcam, there, okay, before we get to close sessions over here? All right, to see your kind of assistance. Everyone here, there, right? All 20 students over here. All right. So I'm going to add some groups there first. Hopefully when you, uh, maybe late, okay, when you actually right, try to introduce you guys self in, in, in our website, directly. So I'm going to create a groups, uh, what we call that rooms. So you guys actually, you can actually contact each other on the groups directly. It's better from there. All right, later on, if you have a class trap, it's more better, okay? But the group sessions is important other than our, uh, what we call that Google Sessions, Google Classroom over here, just to keep update on, on our kind of uh, latest kind of what we call that news or what we have there, okay? So thank you very much, guys, okay, for this evening. It's a very long day, but I'm really grateful to have you guys here today. And welcome back again, okay, to our uh, uh, University College, Shugat Rahman, okay, kind of sessions. And hopefully you guys take care yourself. Have a good evening, and don't forget to eat a very good food there, okay? And stay safe, and have a nice day, guys. Okay, bye. See you guys around okay, next week. And don't forget to practice there, right? Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome there, guys.